Hello, Brookwood! It's Heidi and Ellie again, and this week we're gonna make homemade fresh guacamole. Actually, Ellie's gonna make homemade fresh guacamole. She makes it for our household um, regularly, and would you like to tell us how you normally do it? Okay, so we are going to start with three large avocados. I already de-seeded them, and also I just sliced them crisscross while they're still in the peels so they're easier to scoop out and easier to mash. Oh, I've never done that. We just like go like this and then we go the other way. She already did it, so we're just gonna show you. Okay, so that one's really extra done. Perfect. And so another tip when making guacamole is if you're not gonna eat all of your guacamole right away, if you're gonna have some leftovers and keep them in the fridge, if you want to keep it from getting brown, save the pit of the avocado and mix it in there later and that'll keep it from browning and going bad. Or, and or, you can put it in a, um, like a little Tupperware bowl and on the top, just cover it with water. It sounds funny, but it works. So cover it with water and then when you're ready to eat it, you just dump the water off and the guacamole is super green and fresh still. So one thing that we don't have for guacamole today is cilantro. Um, I love to add cilantro, so if you want to, go ahead. Um, also, if you like spice, go ahead and chop up some jalapenos and add those to your guacamole as well. Do you use fresh jalapenos or pickled jalapenos? I, like. I use fresh. Fresh, but right? either one works. You can use whatever you want, yeah. Okay, now I I chopped up two medium-sized tomatoes. I'm gonna add those in. Oh, that's a lot of tomatoes. Yeah, I like chunky guacamole. Is that Lots of flavor. Yeah. Not sure. And then a whole medium white onion. I usually use red onion, but this time we only had white. And I like to add a lot of onion because I like the crunch. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Next, I've got one very large clove of garlic mm -hmm. minced up. So yummy. And then my favorite part of the guacamole is the lime juice. Mm -hmm. So I am using two whole lemons. Lines. I'm lunch. Kind of yummy. It's not too bad for you. It's called Slap Your Mama. <laughs> Sounds funny, but the ingredients are just salt, pepper, um, red pepper, black pepper, and garlic. It's all natural, no MSG or anything, and it makes it a little bit um, kind of zesty. Okay, so this is tahin, another fun thing that you can add in there if you want, or if you have that in your pantry. Um, right now, I'm just adding some salt and pepper and just add it to taste. And then I'm just going to mash it all up. Grain free cauliflower chips in the pantry. And they're little lime flavored tortilla chips. So they're made from cassava, and that's a root, uh, root vegetable and cauliflower and chia seeds and some vegetable blend. We've got spinach, broccoli, carrots, tomato, beets, and shiitake mushrooms. Mmm. And these came from Whole Foods. I'm gonna see what they look like. Mmm. Not too bad. Better than tostitos. Okay, we had to go to a larger bowl because we had so much stuff in there, but it's all in there, all nice and yummy blended. Look at that. Mmm. And Ellie did add a little bit of spice to it, right? Mm hmm Okay, you want to do the taste test? Yeah, okay. Mmm. Here we go. Mmm. Heavenly. 